And actually, we are hearing from our producer that Joe Biden has been confirmed as the winner of the presidential election. We will give you more details as they become available. Uh, the state's apparently now calling for his win. We're proving again what we've proved for 244 years in this country. Democracy works. Your vote will be counted. And I don't care how hard people try to stop it. We don't have a final declaration of victory yet, but the numbers tell us it's clear, tell us a clear and convincing story. We're going to win this race. And as we're telling you, our producer telling us now that we have heard that Joe Biden has won the presidential election according to uh, reports coming in. We'll give you details of that as soon as we get them into our newsroom. Meantime, here in Hawaii, the counting of ballots had not been a case, and I'll explain why. Hawaii requires all ballots to be received, not postmarked, by Election Day. It's a hard deadline, so however many ballots are in-house at 7 p.m. is how many are counted. Um, we don't typically count ballots weeks after or days after like other jurisdictions. So what you have as your, what we would call our election night final, which ironically comes out the next day now, would be for the most part most all of your ballots, except for a few ballots and provisional ballots or ballots that need to be cured. Voters have until November 10th to cure a ballot or rectify issues like a missing signature with their county clerk to have it counted. Chief Election Officer Scott Nacko estimates about 1,500 ballots on Oahu have to be cured and fewer than that on the neighbor islands. Those will still be counted, but not likely to change the overall results. Hawaii election officials also got a head start. They began opening ballots on October 24th, which prevents the backlog seen in other states where counting can only be done on Election Day. Nago says more than 200,000 ballots alone were received on Oahu that first weekend of counting. This whole process of opening envelopes um, really wasn't new to us. It, it just was done on a greater scale. Final election results will be released November 19th, and people have until November 23rd to contest them. Also, Hawaii law automatically triggers a recount of a race when the vote gap is a quarter of a percent or 100 votes, whichever is greater. Otherwise, a candidate or 25 registered voters can file a contest for cause with the Hawaii Supreme Court, which can order a recount or new election or dismiss the case outright. Hawaii's new all-mail-in format that took effect in 2020 cut the election workforce from 4,000 to 400. Still, Nago said the process was smooth thanks to volunteers. They don't want to fail. They don't want to be look bad. So they do really take ownership in the election. Counting every vote is something that democracy counts on. And breaking news, as we told you, Democratic candidate Joe Biden has won Pennsylvania. That means he surpasses the 270 electoral vote threshold to take the White House, and he will become the 46th president of the United States. He also reportedly has Arizona, Wisconsin, and Michigan. And again, we'll give you the latest as soon as more comes available to us in the newsroom. But again, Joe Biden has been elected our 46th president of the United States.